What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know that a lot of you that have subscribed to the channel are here because of my swap meta content or maybe it's for regular EMS content. Um, but one thing I wanted to talk about that I haven't seen a whole lot of in um, here on YouTube is actual what do I do on my first EMT ride? And specifically, I'm talking to the EMT that's going through EMT or is going to go through EMT with the purpose of going on fire rescue. Okay, I, I don't know anything about AMR or IFT, interfacility transport, uh, medics and EMTs. I can only speak to large metropolitan fire rescue EMT because when I came over from police, that's what I did. I went to, you know, I went to minimum standards. I went to EMT school and I went to my first ride along. I first started with a, um, a neighboring municipality in the city. And then my, the rest of my rides were with my department. And uh, so the other day, I worked in the field for for extra shift pay, and um, there was a rider, and uh, I was on a suppression, but this guy was on, on on the rescue doing one of his EMT rides, and so this guy apparently come from the military, and you know he was talking about, you know because you know, I was in whatever branch it was, I'm not going to say which branch, but, um, you know, he, he kind of felt a little entitled as to what, um, what his day should be like and, and things he had heard about ride alongs. So if you're going to do, if you're going to a ride along and again, you're going to a fire station, you show up that morning Man, when I came when I came from police, I had almost eleven years with police with the same with the same county, and I I came over and and I'm you're a zero. I, I was a zero at that point, right? So I went through minimum standards. I went to EMT, and I got out in the field at a station, and I did what I had to do. Like I. I showed up, I got there an hour early. At the minimum, you show up 30 minutes early. So if you're doing an EMT ride, you are in school learning, and that's the that's the way you should carry yourself when you go to a to a station, right? The first thing you do, first of all, I suggest you get there at the bare minimum half hour early. And the first thing when you walk through the door is you introduce yourself to everybody, everybody. There's going to be the shift that's coming off shift, the shift that's coming on shift. So you need to introduce yourself to everybody. Tell them you're the rider, which they will recognize by your uniform and find out who the oncoming crew is and who, who you need to talk to, who the officer in charge is and who your two other um, mentors for the day are going to be the two other medics, at least in our service. That's the way it runs. So, you know, that's what everybody's looking for. That rider to walk in, introduce themselves. So number one, walk in and introduce yourself to everybody. That's something that, that is not just a fire service thing. I mean, that's just a life thing. Like if you walk into a party, you should go and, say hello to everybody and introduce yourself. You don't want to be that person standing in the corner being like, you know, I'm too cool for school and nobody knows who you are. And especially in this line of work, police, fire, you want to walk in and in introduce yourself, look somebody in the face, look them in the eyes and introduce yourself. All right. Not to be the dead horse already, but all right. So you walk in and introduce yourself to everyone in the station. When you find out who your crew is, they're probably, if they're worth their weight in anything, they're going to be outside 
checking the rig and um, making sure that all the equipment that needs to be there is there. So you need to jump on in and help them. All right, you're part of the crew for the day. So you're gonna jump into the truck and you're an EMT. So start asking EMT questions. You know, everything that you've gone up to, uh, gone over in school up to that point, you need to look for it, all right? Nasal cannula, non-rebreather, you know, find out what, how they get off, what they get off with. You know, if they get off with a, a boo-boo bag, do they get off with a life pack? What do you want me to take? Find out from the, whoever the senior firefighter, fire medic is on the, on the, on the crew and ask them, what do you want me to do? What can I do? What do you expect me to do on calls? Okay. So once they go over the truck, what they're most likely to do after is obviously they're going to probably pull the truck out and they're probably going to wash the truck. So grab a brush, grab the, uh, the wash bucket, help them fill it up, help them fill it up with soap and get to washing. I mean, that's what most crews, if you're worth a damn, that's what you're going to do. Check out the rig, check out the equipment, check out your med box, your boo-boo bag, everything in the truck. Make sure that everything everything is there. You don't have any expired medications, things like that. And then once all that's done, you're going to pull, if the truck's not out already, you're going to pull it out and you're going to wash it because you want to present a professional appearance to the community. You don't want to show up like you just drove through a junkyard with the with the truck where somebody's going to be transported to the hospital in i mean that's what you're going to do you're going to wash the truck and make it look presentable for the community once that's done what most uh stations are going to do is they have station duties right so they're going to go inside and they're either the suppression guys are going to sweep and mop their sleeping quarters and the rescue crew is going to sleep and mop theirs and then they're going to divvy up the day room, the bathrooms, there's the female bathroom, the male bathrooms, whatever. And anything that has to be done in the bay is probably going to be on the driver operator. But anyways, you're going to find work. Kind of like what we say in SWAT is find work, look for work. You're going to go in and see what they're doing. Grab the Grab the broom, grab the mop, and get in there and help. All right? Once that's done... Somebody's probably going to take up the uh, chore of making breakfast if you have time, if you're at a station that lets you actually eat. So if you're at one of those stations or it's a slow morning, find that if you see somebody in the kitchen cooking, hey, how can I help? What can I do? And they're probably just going to tell you, hey, man, just uh, get your book, but get in there. It's 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 the, the thought that counts. Get in there. And try to help. You're part of the crew. This is what, this is the the profession that you're getting into. This is the lifestyle that you're gonna that you're gonna live uh, for a, a 24 hour shift every third day or wh- wherever it is you're gonna work. This is what it's gonna be like. Okay. So if they don't need help, or once you're done eating, or once they're done cooking, you're gonna open up your book and you're gonna sit down on that dining room table with your back to the TV. And you're going to go over everything that you need to go over for EMT. Same thing goes for medics, right? So you're going to sit there, back to the TV, and you're going to study. All right? Because while you're not running calls, that's what you should be doing. If you get a call, you jump on the truck, be the first one on the truck, get on that truck, put your gloves on, get ready to work. Okay? Everything that they told you that you would be allowed to do. All right? Pulse socks, glucose, blood pressures. If the door rings at the station, it's yours. If the phone rings, hey, answer it and find out how they want to, you know, hey, this is writer so-and-so and and answer the phone. At least they might tell you to stop. Once they tell you to stop, then you stop. But you want to show initiative, all right? You want to show initiative. You want to be that person that shows initiative and you want to be first one on the truck, First one to get out with whatever gear they they need to take out, the officer will probably tell you what they want you to do, all right? And when you get back from a call, you sit your butt on that dining room table with your back to the TV and you get back in your books, all right? And 
that's going to be your pretty much your whole day of ride-alongs, and you're going to have however many ride-alongs you're going to do, all right? And that's going to be your recipe for success there. And I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing. And until next time, train for it.